To talk more on the long-term care situation in Ontario, we are joined by Dr. Bob Bell, Ontario's former Deputy Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Thank you for joining us on the show, sir. Thank you for inviting me, Nima. Now, let's start by talking about what exactly is happening in long-term care homes at this time during the second wave. Can you paint a picture for our viewers? Well, certainly the most important optimistic thing that's happening is that vaccination is proceeding extremely well, both for long-term care staff and long-term care residents. Uh, you know, I've heard through colleagues that uh, long-term care homes in the Toronto region, uh, many of them have completed vaccination. The long-term care homes that are assigned to my old hospital University Health Network, I understand that the first dose of vaccination has been given to residents who've provided consent for treatment to staff members who've uh, wanted to have vaccine administered. And of course, this is terrific news because uh, after the first dose of Pfizer vaccine or Moderna vaccine, uh, there's a substantial amount of immunity confirmed. It does require a second dose, of course, but we're on the way to seeing our, you know, our parents, our grandparents being protected in Ontario's long-term care sector. And that's great news. Um, certainly the concern is that up to 40% of Ontario long-term care homes now have an outbreak. They have one or more patients uh, who have uh, been diagnosed with COVID-19. And that remains a concern. Our long-term care homes have been hot spots of infection across the province. And why do you think that long-term care is being hit even harder during the second wave? Some would think that we would have learned lessons from the first wave. Well, you know, I'm not sure it's been hit harder during the second wave. If we go back to April, uh, substantial numbers of people were uh, were infected with COVID-19 in long-term care. And tragically, uh, many Ontarians lost loved ones in the long-term care sector. As we all know, up to 80% of mortality across this country that's occurred as a result of COVID-19 has occurred in long-term care residents. And that's nothing but a tragedy. Uh, some things have improved during the second wave. There's certainly been more access to personal protective equipment. This province has led the country in offering workers, in fact, in insisting on that workers in long-term care have initially every second week a COVID-19 test to ensure that they weren't carrying COVID-19 asymptomatically into homes. That's been stepped up in hot zones in the province to twice a week during the second wave. So I think we have learned some lessons. I think the the issue of the long-term weakness of Ontario's long-term care system in terms of staffing especially has been an element that's been a real concern to people who care about long-term care. And I think that's something that requires a long-term fix for long-term care. And to add to that, I want to go back to Ms. Mara's comments. So she's saying to hire more staff and bring in the military. Is this the right solution, sir? And we've got about a minute left, sir. Thank you. Well, certainly there's no question that having more staffing in long-term care is a solution. And the government's committed to four hours of staffing. That would, of course, require us to hire more staff to provide that staffing. Uh, but that's over a three-year time horizon. That doesn't help right now. Uh, certainly the time to recruit more people for long-term care to provide the extra care necessary because of COVID-19. Time to do that would have been during the summertime. And right now it's pretty hard to train new staff and recruit new staff who are willing to work in long-term care when there's such concern about this being a focus for COVID-19. All right, Dr. Bob Bell, again, thank you so much for giving us your time on the show today. Thank you, Nima.